rhino conservation is a very important topic. Just to give you a feel for how important it is, according to the International Rhino Foundation, between 1970 and 1992, the population of the black rhino species decreased by 96%. The ABQ Biopark Zoo, though, is on a mission to help with rhino conservation and awareness, and here with us to talk about it from the ABQ Biopark zookeeper, Chaz Moxley. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Doing well. Thanks for coming in this morning to talk about this important topic. Of course, we have the uh, rhino horn right here. This is That's from right. a deceased rhino. We That's want correct. To yeah. That's right. She passed away from old age. Oh, right. how old? Uh, she was about 45. About 45. Yeah. That's, is that usually how long rhinos Yeah, that's about an average age for them. Yeah. About that age, too. And and it's really interesting. I was looking at it. I was asking you earlier, what's this made of? It's so hard here, but then it looks like almost like hair. Exactly. You can see it. It is made of hair. It's actually made of uh, something called keratin, which is the okay. same thing our hair and our fingernails are made of. Ah. Um, and it comes in different forms, uh, you know, bigger, smaller versions of it, basically. But uh, most animals, uh, horses' hooves, all made of keratin. Okay, so it's yeah. kind of the same thing. Very, very tough, obviously. Exactly. And very, very heavy too. We were very just picking heavy, it yeah. up uh, just a little while ago. So let's talk about um, the endangerment of, of the species of black sure. rhino. What, it, what is the biggest threat facing the rhinos? Why is this happening? You know, it's really all about poaching, especially the African mm. rhino. Okay. Um, it's really all about that horn right there. Um, you know, right now, uh, so rhino sad. horn goes for more than uh, gold per ounce. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so it's very, very expensive. Um, Obviously, the people poaching aren't making all that money that a lot of that's as the market goes, you know, yes, as it gets it goes passed, up, passed on, on and on, exactly. on right. Yep. So what about the, at the bio park? What kind of rhinos do you have? Do, do we have black rhinos here? We or? do not. We have okay. southern white rhinos, okay. which are the most populous of the rhinos left. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, but they're actually the ones that are being poached the most, unfortunately, <gasps> no. at this point. No. So yes. is there, so they, are we starting to see a decline in We are. We're starting to see species? a big decline real fast. Starting in mm. 2008, the poaching really went up in South Africa, where most white rhinos are at this point. Um, Yikes. That's yeah. scary. So yeah. what can we do? How can we get involved? How can we um, You know, the best way we can get involved, especially with the megafauna, obviously everyone can't uh, have these around. Um, so the best thing to do is to um, find one of the many Save the Rhino um, foundations that are out there. Well, Save the Rhino is one of them, but there are okay. many different foundations. Um, Education is the best, you know. Rhinoceros are an umbrella species, mm -hmm. so if we save a rhinoceros, we're going to save many other species with a rhinoceros um, um, that live around it, obviously. And you guys are helping promote awareness. You bet. Um, education, awareness, um, and that's Chopper's been great for that. Um, yes. You know, what a what a character he Tell is. Tell us, give us an, a Chopper update. Sure, you bet. Uh, Chopper is just about 16 months old now. He will be at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. um, he's up to about 1,900 pounds. Wow. So anyone that's seen he's videos huge. of him from a year ago or so, he's gained a bunch of weight um still only about halfway to, to where he'll be but uh yeah what's he's, his he's, demeanor like now you know he's a very very sweet very gentle animal uh Aww. still very playful obviously he doesn't reach maturity until about eight so he's still a kid he's you know, still he's a little still, kid yeah, he's still running around playing like a kid being Aww. a being a young and he knows one. his name too he knows his name um knows everyone um just real friendly real affectionate Aww. animal. so you guys yeah. get to pet him and stuff sometimes we do you bet you bet loves a good scratch under the uh, chin or around the ear and um yeah across the Aww. back yeah and so, <laughs> and, and people can see right, uh, Chopper, I mean. You bet the, Chopper uh, is uh, out on, now. yeah, you bet he's out on display every day. Um, he lives with a couple other of our rhinoceros there. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So you'll have to go check them out at the ABQ Biopark Zoo. And if you can, of course, try to help the cause. It's really sad to hear about what's happening. You the bet. The decline in the rhinos and the different species there. So if you can help, please do so. We'll have info to link you to the ABQ Biopark, or maybe you could do Excellent. that on our website, casa.com. Just click on the CASA blog. Thank you so much, Jazz, for coming in. You bet. Thank you. All right.